must say I'm glad we phoned each other this morning so we weren't wearing the same thing. Well, that was nice. Yes, no, it was nice of you. Yeah, it's best to check. You're a bit understated. Do you feel? I like to improvise, so I'm playing jazz. I was probably the first woman to wear jeans. Sounds crazy. It was. I can feel the pulse of her excitement about living. You're not pretty, and you'll never be pretty, but it doesn't matter. You have something much better. You have style. I think dressing up should be fun. Mm. It's part of my life because I'm, I'm a creative person and I think other people should indulge in a bit of creativity. And it's a chance for them to, to play. I, I think too many women in America, anyhow, I don't know how it is here, just get themselves into such a snit about what to wear and what not to wear that I often say it's better to be happy than well-dressed. Like a cross between Anna Winter and Joan Rivers, Iris Apfel is the darling of the fashion scene. She became a star when the contents of her exotic wardrobe were exhibited in New York. She was 87. What does she think of so-called age-appropriate clothes? If you can carry and pull it off, it's appropriate. If you're a pot-bellied old geezer and, 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 and you have bandy legs, you don't look very well in shorts. It's bad enough wearing them when you're young. But when older men do it, and when older men put on baseball caps backwards, I mean, that's the kiss of death. And women of a certain age shouldn't wear skirts that are too short and shouldn't wear their hair in a long bob and shouldn't wear too much makeup. But as far as clothes, I mean, I guess it's not age appropriate for an old broad who's about to be 94 to wear this kind of stuff, but I like it. Yeah, you're in a bit of a tangle there. I usually am. I hope, we don't have to, I hope we don't have to cut you out of those things later. <laughs> in the words of my grandpa, a woman is as old as she looks but a man is never old until he stops looking. I think plastic surgery is a fantastic invention, but just because you get on an age and you want to look a few years younger, to subject yourself, first of all, it's very expensive. It's very painful, and you have no guarantee of how you're going to look when you finish. You might be luckless and come out looking like a Picasso. People often talk about um, the idea for women of having it all in life. You can't. You can't. It's not possible. Nobody Some women can. think they can. Uh, well, that's why they're nervous wrecks and see psychiatrists and have their faces done and do all kinds of things. And I think uh, having a child and then taking your maternity leave and going back to work full time is not fair to the child. It's not fair to you. And I knew that I wanted to travel, and I knew I wanted a career, and I knew I wanted to work hard. And you can't do it all unless you want to drive yourself to an insane asylum. Let's say that um, we book you as dresser for one day for Donald Trump. What's the first thing you do, Iris? We'll probably get him a haircut. We thought we'd drill down, as we say on this program, into Iris's knowledge of the UK fashion scene. He's the mayor of London, Boris oh Johnson. Uh, this is the presenter of our show. Oh, oh Can you think it's nice enough. Suit? Yeah, nice enough. I think he'll take that. Now, this, as you all know, is uh, Prince George. Oh, really? See, I wouldn't era. know. Yeah. Oh, there's nice fat little legs. Iris has noticed a few changes on this trip to London. Well, I love London. I always did love London. And I'm very sad to hear that so many flea markets have disappeared. I've always been intrigued by flea markets, and I used to go all the time. And every time I saw a pair of spectacle frames, I would pick them up. You know, they were so cheap in those days, and put them in a box, because I thought they were a wonderful accessory. It was her most inspired piece of scavenging. Those Jodrell Bank glasses became Iris's trademark. She even had her own four-eyed doppelganger in the cartoon The Incredibles. There we are. What do you think? Well, they look good on you. Do they? Don't they? They do. <laughs> Bless you. Bangor. People would say, 
why do you wear them so large? And I would say, the bigger to see you. And that would shut them up. Absolutely.